Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And the other day I made a video with a box that was tapered up top. So we're gonna start with a 10 inch box. Had my ratio lock, so it's 10 by 10. I'm gonna go to object and convert it to a curve. They, let's say you wanna bring them in two inches on each side to make it tapered. So there's two ways you can do that. A lot of people will do this, they'll draw, a, don't ever do that. Um, draw a straight line and hold down the control button while you're drawing or after you start moving and then make this line six inches. And we're gonna make it black just so we can see it better. I'm gonna hit P, put it in the center of the page. I'm gonna go ahead and put my box in the center of the page. We know our box is 10 inches, so we're gonna set our nudge factor to five. And we're gonna go right there. Because we've turned it into a curve, we can just, what we'll happened my line? There it is. Well, I need to, evidently I need to make my line thicker so we can see it. Well, uh, too thick. That would work, but that's too thick. Then, move this node till it snaps to that node. And then move this node till it snaps to that node. And then take away your black line. Or, Probably the easier way and the way I'm going to do it. I'm not going to mess around with a, a line. We know that we need to take two inches off each side. I'm going to set my nudge factor on two inches. I'm going to take my shape tool. I'm going to grab that node. I'm going to hit my right arrow key. I'm going to grab that node. I'm going to hit my left arrow key. Now you have a six by 10 frame box. Uh, looks like it's tapered. Hope that answered their question. Thank you for watching.